So, you can probably surmise what the subject of the video is about, because Twitter made the mistake, and I do mean mistake, of unsuspending my account. And you, you might be thinking, those of you who haven't been here long, I thought you were on Twitter. Were you suspended? Well, yeah, I mean, I was. Uh, and I used my account that I had made for shit posting and non-serious content for serious content at that point because I had basically no other financial choice. And I also wasn't going to be shut up by a mega corporation who loves the people who hate me. So let me be super clear here and say that uh, this isn't going to last. Um, and they lied in order to do it in the first place. I don't know how many of you remember, but there was a massive purge during the days of QAnon um, and, and the January 6th uh, uh, riots, tantrums, that they called an insurrection. Right? And uh, first off, um, let me be clear that that's exactly what that was. And that I don't support it because it wasn't effective. But I don't support it. I just don't su don't don't support it for the reasons that they don't want me to don't support it for. It's not enough that I don't support the insurrection. It's not enough that I oppose the insurrection. I have to call it an insurrection, even though it wasn't one. Just both those other times I said it in this video, just picture a little trademark symbol popping up over my head. Because it wasn't one. It wasn't an insurrection. They didn't have any goals to overthrow the government. That was never on their fucking agenda. They went there for a rally they thought Trump was going to be at. And that's it. They thought Trump was going to pull some stupid Q bullshit. And pull it out of his ass hard and fast enough that he would still be considered president even after all of this stuff that happened. Now, legitimate or not, it clearly didn't work. The insurrection didn't happen because an insurrection is where the government is overthrown and the government wasn't overthrown. It wasn't even really given a workout. These people wandered around in a building and broke some stuff. Hmm. I wonder if that had been happening in other places than the Capitol the rest of the fucking year, maybe? I wonder if that's how cops are in the common person's home. You know? How the FBI was in Mar-a-Lago recently? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if maybe uh, the only reason this was considered different is because it was sacred property. Yeah, no, it, it couldn't be that the government fancies themselves better than you. It couldn't be that the state thinks they're superior to you and that the only thing you should be able to do with them is what they say, uh, up to and including fellatio and whatever else they demand. Uh, it couldn't be that. No. So, I don't like what went down that day. Because what went down that day was used as an excuse to expand the state and to increase tyranny. And the FBI that uh, that I talked about yesterday raiding uh, Trump's place. Yeah, that FBI was given a shit ton of information on a silver fucking platter by Dan Bongina. 
and his stupid fucking platform that nobody who cares about OPSEC or truth at all should have even given the time of day to. Parlor. Because Parlor uh, was an insecure and shitty uh, WordPress install. And when people signed up, their data was added to a standard WordPress database that he didn't properly secure. And that shit, uh, including a bunch of pictures uh, with geotagging location bullshit, um, of these people at this insurrection that actually wasn't one, um, you know, that was just on a list. And all that needed to happen was for this WordPress install to be proven insecure by having somebody compromise the database. And, uh, wow, it happened. Wouldn't you know it? Uh, the database was compromised. The whole site was copied, basically. And a bunch of people had their uh, insecure uh, photos uh, with a bunch of geo uh, location information just handed to the government on a silver fucking platter. It's almost like... Now, now track with me here. It's almost like this ex-secret service guy built a platform that was massively insecure, and then suddenly the FBI had a bunch of information on a bunch of people who might be a challenge to the Secret Service's job. And then the Secret Service had a much easier go of it the next year. It's almost like that's why these people are considered such a danger. And the people who caused much more damage and death the rest of the year, including the cops, aren't. Um, it's, it's almost like that's why those people, you know, those, those people that posted on Parlor, their symbols are what's on that FBI, uh, like, informatic flyer that I went over the other day. Because they gave them to them on a silver fucking platter. So, uh, I don't like what went down that day because what I think that was, was a totally accidental, 100% coincidental, uh, building of a massive list so that the FBI could target people who might cause a ruckus for them. Because it's okay to cause a ruckus for anyone else. If you say no justice, no peace uh, on any other grounds than a government building, you're totally fine. And just to be fucking clear, I'm not on these people's sides either. Because they were just upset that their guy didn't get in. I don't give a fuck that their guy didn't get in. Uh, because, as I went over recently, Trump isn't fucking better than Biden. They're all on the same team. This is a massive soap opera. And if you think differently, you've been bought. And this has been my stance. So, one would think that this would be totally in line with what you're allowed to say. But no. The... the, the I didn't give them exactly what they wanted, which was total obsequity, total bootlicking. In fact, I gave them the opposite of that because I told these people all this stuff and I didn't tell them, hey, it would be bad to do this sort of thing for realsies and not for this fakesies that they did it. <laughs> and because I didn't, you know condemn it more than I didn't, uh, that was used as a reason to ban me along with the rest of the Q purge, which is what really happened. A bunch of people were being banned at the same time, and I got banned at the same fucking time um, for platform man manipulation and spam. I appealed 
twice. Twice I appealed because I saw people getting unsuspended. People like the hyper-conservative Jocelyn Glaybach, who got mad at me for using her name that she used on her own articles. Um, and, you know, tried to get a YouTube video where I said she tried to cancel me, taken down repeatedly. I've got so many emails. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go over them someday of just how many times she tried to say that, oh, this piece is the piece with the privacy violation. And YouTube was like, yeah, nah, bitch, that's your name. You put it there. <laughs> you know, they, that nobody thought that was a privacy violation, but her and her simps, but they let her back, you know, like a, a year ago or something. They didn't let me back. They kept on not letting me back um, because they don't like me. And, like, let me be super clear that if they didn't run their system this way and they didn't have a bunch of uh, just let's batch accept these reports um, rather than manually reviewing them, uh, if they didn't have that system, they would have a whole lot less because people wouldn't know that they do that and they wouldn't mass report. They make their job harder in order to make it easier. Because then they can just say, well, it's out of our hands. We can't take all these reports without, without automation. Because we have a limited staff and a limited funding. But that limited staff and limited funding has more reports to deal with and more um, more fucking <laughs> appeals processes to go through because of this process so it doesn't save you any fucking time, does it, Twitter? So this was my tweet, right? Um, I posted a screenshot of what they said that, hello, we're writing to let you know that we've unsuspended your account. We're sorry for the inconvenience and hope to see you back on Twitter soon. A little background. We have systems that find and remove multiple automated spam accounts in bulk, and yours was flagged as spam by mistake. Please note that it may take an hour or so for your follower and following numbers to return to normal. If you need to get in touch with us again, please file a report through your Twitter app or our forms page, as this account isn't monitored for replies. Thanks. Twitter. So, that's what they had to say. And, uh, this was what I had to say. This is not gonna last. They lied and banned me because they had the excuse. Jan 6th wasn't an insurrection. It was a glorified fucking tantrum, and those in power couldn't handle the softcore version of what they stage elsewhere. They banned me during that QAnon purge. But you can't get rid of a hedgehog infestation that easy, and I'm back. Maybe if they hadn't lied and banned people in fucking bulk, instead of uh, of because of any broken fucking rules, they'd have less appeals to review. Fuck you, Twitter. Stop damaging businesses, yo. So I did that, and then I posted my new bio. A bunch of people uh, were were saying welcome back. More people on Facebook, though, to be honest, because I cross-posted this to Facebook. And so when I when I posted this. Um, I also posted uh, some other shit because I, I think it's valuable to remember that this is what I was really using it for. What I was really using my account for wasn't being some hyper-conservative Republicanoid. What I was using it for was anarchist content. And here is the last thing I tweeted before my suspension years ago was a repudiation of violence against children and a support of peaceful parenting. Let that sink in. So, I've got people telling me to go to Truth Social. Let me be very clear here. 
I think all these alternative platforms are massive psyops. Except the ones that are actually decentralized, like Bastion, which is on the blockchain, and Odyssey and Library, which are on the blockchain. Unless your platform is actually decentralized, unless your platform can't ban people who, like, aren't violating any sort of policy, uh, you know, unless that's a possibility, it's not an alternative. It's just Twitter controlled by somebody else. So, let's see. Uh, an anti-Trump person like this guy, right, who's already been um, uh, fucking enemies of places like Gab and Parler uh, because I had the audacity to say the truth about them, um, you know, or just like users on them. Like, for instance, when this guy named The Nose on Gab fucking posted a literal lie about the shooter, uh, posting literal, like, uh, uh, fuck, the Uvalde shooter about Salvador Ramos, when he posted a literal lie that there was no proof for, um, and then refused to take it down for hours, thus letting it spread to so many fucking places, um, I got called m all manner of slurs. I'll say it that way so that I don't violate YouTube's policies. If YouTube decides to ban me, though, feel free to follow me at Insanity is Free on Odyssey, uh, where you can find all of my videos backed up. But basically, that's the kind of thing that you can grow, uh, grow to expect in places like Gab, is hyper-conservative cunts who don't care about facts. Oh, and also, of course, Riley's of the world. Uh, because you're not allowed to post porn there, but you're allowed to be an active pedophile with the word pedophile in your bio. Yeah. Yeah, Gab is... Gab is totally a Christian platform, Andrew Torba. You fucking lying hypocrite. Anyway... Point is, I am not going to join a gab or a parlor just because those gabs or parlors are run by Trump. Fuck all of that. Holy shit. Just throw my head into a vice and wait because they're going to ban me. That's how that's going to work. Um, I'm going to say something that's going to piss off Republicans and they're going to ban me because that place isn't truth social it's Republican social. It's where they get to pretend to tell the truth social. And believe me, I'm going to get banned from everywhere eventually. Because I've talked shit about Facebook. I've already been banned from Twitter once. I've already been banned from Reddit once. Like, so many places uh, want me gone. I've been reported everywhere. Um, so I'm going to be banned. But I would rather... If I'm going to tell people about alternatives, um, I would rather tell them about alternatives that are actual alternatives, materially, in the code. Actual alternatives in ethics and in practice. Alternatives, you know? That's what I want. So if you want alternatives, find me at a variety of them. Uh, buy my coin tree link or just donate stuff because I need to eat and I'd like to not be homeless. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of links in my coin tree link in my descriptions and you can click on that. Um, best ones I would say though, uh, for video content, uh, I would say Odyssey and library and for, uh, blogs and, normal content, I would say Bastion. And they're slowly creeping up and being, like, a, a good alternative for videos, too. Um, you know? So, those are there. It's already there. I don't need Truth Social when it's not a real alternative. Fuck that. Um, and yeah. I'm back on Twitter for now. 
at my old handle. You can find me at Insanity is Free. And I'm already making uh, a, pr a pretty big impression again because I'm already starting to talk shit uh, because I, I kind of think I'm just going to get banned anyway. So I might as well just say a bunch of shit. You know, I'll just leave this on the screen for a few seconds. Oh, yeah. And smash the fucking state.